Hi guys, it is Becca with Adaptive Equipment Corner, and today we're gonna to be doing a review on the meal lifter. So first of all, if you found this video helpful, please check us out on Facebook and Instagram, like and share with your family and friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check us out on aecorner.com. Let's get started. A couple features of the meal lifter is that it is manufactured here in Missouri, so it's local and homegrown to um, the Midwest here. It is made of polypropylene, so that's a hard, durable plastic. It's not going to collapse if you place your heavy plate on top. Um, it is easy to clean, easy to wipe up, or you can place it in the dishwasher as well. It um, is stackable, so if you're short on space, you can stack it on top of any plates or bowls that you have in countertops or cabinets. It has an opening for a nine inch diameter plate. So these are your typical plates, dinner plates you get from the store, or if you're in a facility at an assisted living or skilled nursing facility, um, these are the standard plates that they use there. And for sanitary reasons, it does not have um, a non-slip or non-grip bottom, um, but that's a quick and easy fix. You just place your meal lifter on top of the placemat, um, or you can use our favorite um, OT hack is this mesh liner that you can grab from the store. Um, or if you're in a facility, I bet your therapist has access to some Dyson. Um, so that's just a couple features of the meal lifter. Um, next, we're going to talk about who maybe would benefit from using the meal lifter and how to use it. So next we're going to talk about who would benefit from using the meal lifter and how to use it. So first of all, if you notice your client has this hunched over posture, this flexed posture, um, we call this kyphotic posture, the meal lifter is going to help elevate the plate up and promote an upright posture whenever they're feeding themselves. Another thing is if your client or um, loved one maybe has issues with uncoordinated movements, maybe they have Parkinson's disease, tremors, essential tremors, um, anything like that, shortening the distance from the plate to their mouth is going to make it easier for them. The distance is shorter. Um, they're going to be able to ensure food into their mouth, um, lessen spillage as well, and just encourage their dignity. Dining with dignity is what meal lifter is all about. Um, Another thing would be for any range strength issues, um, endurance issues from COPD. Maybe they've had a shoulder surgery, um, rotator cuff, shoulder replacement. The list could go on. Easily resting your elbow, their elbow on the table, grabbing onto the utensil. And then there's this pivot motion, getting their food on the fork, on the utensil, and then pivoting the food into their mouth all they've got to do. Also, a big diagnosis that the meal lifter would be beneficial is um, dementia or Alzheimer's. Um, this red plate is going to be huge for not even just dementia, but any low vision, visual, perceptual issues. The contrast is key here. So they're going to be able to see the food a heck of a lot better on a red plate as opposed to a white plate. The food might blend in here. Um, so again, it's just increasing the contrast. They'll be able to see their food easier and ensure the food into their mouth, promoting nutrition and also dining with dignity. All in all, this OT highly recommends the use of the meal lifter at mealtimes, especially if you have a client or a loved one with uncoordinated movements, abnormal posture, strength, endurance issues, or low vision. So if you have any further questions, check out the comment section below. We'll also have a link there to the meal lifter. And that's it today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day. And just remember, if you can't do it, adapt it.